Thai football team that spent 18 days underground are just about to make their first public appearance at a press conference. The 12 teenagers and their coach have just been discharged from hospital after more than a week of assessments by doctors. Family members and psychologists are also in attendance as the team answer questions about their dramatic ordeal. They were trapped inside a flooded underground cave on June the 23rd until they were rescued last week. Live for us at Chang Rai is Step Vassan, our correspondent. And, and Step, you're actually at the event, aren't you? Has it got underway yet? Have the boys started talking? Well, it will go underway any minute now, Martin. We're waiting for the 12 boys, the young footballers and their coach to enter this room now any moment to start a very controlled and orchestrated press event. It's basically a talk show on a Thai television, state television network, which will be aired around the country live on all TV channels and radio. It's, of course, the very first time we will actually see the boys and hear the boys uh, mainly because we all of course are very curious to know how they are doing and how it was like to survive in a cave for 18 days and even the first 10 days not without uh, not any help had arrived they didn't even know they were actually going to be rescued so there's a lot of questions of course but the, this whole event is carefully orchestrated uh, the psychologists have been screening the questions so we could put in some questions but we're not very sure what uh, will actually be asked to them here it's also set up as a little football pitch actually they will be wearing their their football outfit there's some balls here so they will uh, kick a few balls as well so it's all a, a, a whole big talk show also a very interesting publicity event for the thai government at the moment indeed i mean it's quite extraordinary isn't it how quickly the boys seem to have recovered uh, from their ordeal but bit by bit step we've been getting more and more detail haven't we about the individuals and particularly about uh, the three boys and indeed the coach who have got this rather peculiar uh, status of state of being stateless Exactly. We hear the music now playing. I think they will come in here any minute. But this is, uh, of course, an event that the government is using for their publicity. It's a program called uh, Thailand Moving Forward, a daily show that the government is using also to send their messages to the public. So the boys will appear on this, uh, this uh, channel today everywhere around the country. But sadly, four of them have not even the Thai nationality. The coach and three players are stateless. Uh, you have to understand, this is a, a border region. Region. So a lot of people from Myanmar are crossing into Thailand. So did the coach when he uh, was uh, he lost his parents as an orphan. He crossed the border trying to get better education here, as also one of the other boys. So basically, they have the right to education on this side of the border, but not many other rights. And of course, this whole ordeal, their whole story, have put the, the spotlight on the the, the 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 situation of these stateless people here in Thailand. Nearly 500,000 of them are stateless and the government is now saying they might help and might speed up the process to give them their passports and nationalities but of course so many others are asking when when is it going to be our turn step vassen thank you very much indeed and we'll uh, of course go back uh, to chang rai as soon as the boys appear and uh, get a sample of what they have to say